This is Cape Town in South Africa. Christians decide to make a public service to pray for Israel, a smaller group of Christians. The Muslims in South Africa, they are not even 1.6. How many? 1.6 to 100 as population. And look what they are doing. If they are 1.6 of the population and they are doing this to the one who they are almost 99% of the population. Watch. Of pro uh, Palestinian supporters um, literally um, coming onto the space. Um, you'll see also that we have a uh, number of police officers. Sir, you are, about, you are here to, to support Palestine. Tell us why you are here. What is. You're supporting Palestine, man. This is what the DI do. This is what the DI do. Down with the DI. Down with the DI, man. Sir, 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 can you explain to us? Can you explain to us, sir? Um, there was a huge protest in Cape Town yesterday. If you notice with me behind, you see a stage. You see where is the women, the Muslim women wearing white, and you see people wearing white. This is the stage where the Christians were going to do the service. The Muslim terrorist they occupy the stage of the Christians, and now they are going to flip the stage. And what the police doing? Nothing. And here I need to ask the questions very serious questions for the Christians in South Africa. How in the world, where are you? How in the world 1.6% of your population do that to 99% of the population? Do you know why they are doing that? Because you are staying home and you don't stand for your rights. I blame the Christians for not standing out in the street. Those people, they were not there to go outside like this and attack a Christian doing nothing except just praying in their, in, their, in their land. Because they knew you are very, very, very submissive. Look how they are going to flip the stage, 1.6% of the total population. What a shame. We need to, yeah, we need to counter, we need to counter the DA, I mean the, the, the Israeli. Thank you so much. Okay, just one voice there from the pro-Palestinian uh, supporters. I'll try and get you another pro-Palestinian supporter. Sir, good afternoon to you. You're live on SABC. Um, can you tell me? Can you tell me why you've come out here today, sir? That is why, because that's happening to our brothers and sisters in Palestine. Of course, we've just heard some more stun grenades go off. We'll try and move closer um, to understand what exactly um, has taken place to to prompt police to let us stun. Early on, we also we see projectiles being thrown at the police vehicle, and there the water cannon being used again on protesters, um, pro-Palestinian protesters here in Cape Town. Um, police and metro police officers are, are on the scene, and the crowd of supporters uh, do not seem to be joining uh, at waning at all. See? Another round of. Um, do you see it? I say to those Christians in South Africa, shame on you, and shame on the police, and shame on the government. Those people will not act like lions unless you are acting like a cat. 1.6% attacking Christians in their land. All of them, they are immigrants. All of those, as you see, they are white people. They are white Muslims. 90, maybe 5% of them, they are white Muslims. Attacking the Christian African in their land. And what the police do? Could not protect the Christian's church service. And they are using water. Are you giving them a shower? Not a single arrest. At the same time, you ask yourself, where is the Christians? 
Why only few people come in to pray for Israel? Where's the rest? Leave your comment, and I say to the Muslim terrorist, you are just giving warning, severe warning to the Christians, and they will stand against you no matter what. You will just hit the alarm for them. Sometimes the lion can be sleeping, snoring, but when the lion is awake, you are no match. This is exactly what you did with the Israeli. The lion was sleeping, snoring, and when the lion is awake, you are crying to stop the war. You started the war. You died for it. You prepare for it. And when the real war come to you, you go in your knee and you beg for ceasefire because you are a coward. And here, because those people are very friendly, you are taking advantage of them. You are ad taking advantage of the mercy of the Christians. 1.6% of the population, nothing more. Not even 10% doing this to the 99% Christians. If you are of some th from South Africa, please leave your comment and share the video and ask your people what's going on. How you allow such a thing to happen? Shouldn't those people arrested and deported? Why you even allow those terrorists who they are doing violence to you, not only to the Israeli? If they do this to the stage, what they would do to you if they put your, their hand on you? And where is the government? And the shameful police, they are using water? In the hot South Africa, that will be like a blessing shower. What a shameful behavior. Leave your comment and let us as a Christian stand against the evil. It's good to be merciful, it's good to be tolerant, but it is cowardness act not to defend yourself against the violence. You cannot defend your violence, the violence of those people by just saying none of my business because then they will come to your house use your law you are the majority deport anyone cause violence and chaos in the country as simple as that they want to protest those Muslims no problem they want to hold the Hamas flag and garbage flag no problem but they go and attack people that is a big problem and as long as we have a government and you have a law, well then use your government and use their, your law and use their police. Capture those, every single one of them who involve in this violence and deport them. Or at least put them in jail for some good time so they can write their stories about the bugs there. Leave your comment and we are going to be victorious. You like it or not, a bunch of cowards. We are coming after your terrorist. And we will send them to Allah free shipping and handling. It's just a matter of time. Take care.